What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether series. On our last episode, our top comment was from Matt saying he wants us to do the MP5. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I've said this every time that we are about to get a class Plague Diamond, but we are six out of nine right now. Let's get some nices. As you can see right here, there is a glitch or there has been in the past. I don't know if it's been patched yet or not. For whatever reason, it'll give it to you early. So we might actually be getting Dark Aether today. So uh, fingers crossed here. If we do that, then we can do whatever weapon we want. Doesn't matter what order. But we have one SMG left three ars and three tack rifles but for our mp5 today we only have 200 crits to go here so not too much work to put in today also here is my attachments we have the millstop reflex flash guard cavalry launcher barrel or cal cavalry lancer barrel ember sighting point bruiser grip 40 round fast mag airborne elastic wrap and no stock also not going to be putting a camo on this i want to see what it looks like pack a punch and in the class it showed i have aether shroud but that's just so i can switch to it if i use any other class when we get in the game i think i'm going to switch to toxic growth and we're going to be trying the social distancing challenge here on firebase z at least we're going to practice for it last time our stun did hit us so it did not count either way we didn't make it to round 20 but i think i'm more familiar with firebase z i think we can probably get a little further on this as long as we get power on without getting hit so i'm going to use toxic growth we're going to set up we're going to get power on and then we're going to see if we can get all the way to round 20. Because if we can get the social distancing challenge done and possibly get Dark Aether in the same game, it's going to be kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and try it out. Also, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this on the skin. She has not only the gun that she's holding, but one around her shoulder, one right here. She has a knife on her arm, a gun here, one on her side. She's got one, two, three, four, five guns and a knife. Like that's so ridiculous. Why do you need that much weaponry? All right, me and the twin rolling up the fire base. Hopefully we can come out of this with a dark ops challenge or dark aether. Odds are we're probably not getting either. Now I will change from aether shroud to toxic growth. But I need to get a kill first. Otherwise it'll switch my weapon out. So there we go. We, go. we have toxic growth on so far so good haven't been hit so we're gonna have to speed run the power too because it's only gonna get harder to turn on okay what's up rabbin off go over here repair the barrier get a little extra points get our loose change all right now we're gonna go through the portal we'll loop around in a helicopter because i feel like it's way harder to get hit there compared to the starting area and we'll keep on trucking along all right so far so good haven't been hit only hitting criticals we're almost there to our first toxic growth. I'm not grabbing that stun just in case I do stun myself again. I'm only holding onto the stim just as a placeholder until I get like a decoy or something because I need something that's not going to hurt me. Where's this last zombie? There he is. Okay, a little bit of salvage too. Okay, it's round three. I still have not been able to get power on any round earlier than five. So I think it might be a fluke to get it before then. Somebody did tweet at me that they got it at the end of round four, but it was just a screenshot. So I couldn't tell if they had all the other reactors on or not. Double points, that's what we need. Actually perfect for speed running. I feel like I'm the only person trying to speed run power in zombies like i gotta entertain myself here now that we have double points we can grab our double loose change which is pretty clutch oh, there's got to be more zombies nearby so let's get these kills while we still have double points oh that's not a crit all right we have enough to start the reactor let's throw that on leave it alone don't get hit don't take fall damage don't do any damage to me okay the round's over you still have a little bit of charge left to do. Does their damage take away from the charge at all? Could it be even more streamlined? I don't think so, right? Don't you dare rush me. You stay the fuck back. Okay, now I'm running. You're not gonna do damage to me. I'd pick up the pace if I were you, for Max's sake. Hey, shut up, Dr. Peck. Every time we're speeding, we're, we're trying to go as fast as we can. Dr. Peck always says we're going too slow. This guy's way too impatient. We got our loose change. Let's start up this one. Still have not taken damage, I don't think. I think last time we we lost on round four. Oh, this is not good. I need to get ammo. Please don't get me. Okay, that was a little close. For comfort. But fuck off. Climb. Get off the reactors. A little bonus point action. You like to see it? Okay, round's over. We're round five. We only have one on. I feel like we've done it so much quicker than this. Somebody said they had it on by round four. I don't know if I believe it now. Because we've only killed one zombie that we didn't need to. Which was the, the zombie by Jug. And it's round five. Stay away. Oh, thank God. Okay, this is very stressful. Okay, we got one more reactor to turn on here. To run on over there. Still trying not to get hit. And then once we get power on, it should be smooth sailing. We just got to be very careful about when we go to upgrade. 
Aether Shroud probably would still work if I kept it on, but I want to throw on Toxic Growth and then just make it so I can slow them down and get easy crits too. So far, we've beat our record because we got out round four last time. I thought it didn't do damage, but looking back on it, it did. Hopefully, we can we can do better this time. I'm going to try my, my absolute best. Just got to make sure I check my back every once in a while. Don't back into a zombie. Oh, I have no ammo. Fuck. Okay, ammo buy. Stay away. Insta-kill, perfect. Is this a decoy? No. They don't want to give me any nades I can actually use. All right, we got power on. It's round five. Still keeping our, our fastest round streak. And we're 160 crits away from possibly having Dark Aether. So how many zombies are left? Probably like one or two. I only see one on the radar. There's definitely two. Three, four. So we might be able to run through. We don't have enough for Pack-A-Punch yet. So let's chill for a second. Yeah, I feel like it's actually impossible to get power on round four unless you get nothing but double points. All right, that's the round. So now it's round six. We don't have enough to Pack-A-Punch. Actually, I don't know. Because we, we spent our points as we needed them for each door. About this door that door that door that reactor that reactor that reactor we also had to buy a door over here so we weren't spending our money oh we did buy ammo twice so maybe that's where we we don't have enough for pack but now we do we probably have to wait until this round's over a nuke might help though but this this round's so easy we don't need a nuke so let's get this down to one zombie left and we'll go pack Is this a decoy finally something we can use that won't harm us Unless a decoy blows up and harms you, like they do in, like, CSGO. Okay, no ammo again. Run out of ammo fast with this thing. It's gonna be our third time buying ammo, and it's only round six. Oh, a mimic. Okay, I just gotta not get grabbed by it. Let's try to lead it through our toxic growth. I'm gonna put another one down. Okay, did a decent amount there. All right, we took it out. Mimics are gonna be scary for this. Same with the, the manglers. Those are gonna be rough. We have three zombies left. They're starting to run now. Adds a little bit of stress to the situation. Oh, max ammo. Okay, we have one zombie. Let's go pack a punch while we can. Get cryo freeze. Okay, I don't want to jump down, actually. I don't want to risk fall damage. I was just about to yeet myself off. Okay, he's just now breaking that down. I have time. Give me cryo. Give me this loose change. And then we'll leave another zombie after this round and come back and get stamina up. And I think we're good. I think we're golden. Because now we can just go to Colonel's. Actually, Colonel's might be too risky. I don't know. Whew. Round seven. No hits. We might want to just stay here since we already have two toxic growth, toxic growth set up that we can probably just train around this area. I just got to stay like vigilant and not get hit. And just loop through these bushes a lot just to make sure. Got to get them all trained up. Keep my eyes out for elites and I should be fine. And probably climbing on top of stuff is not the move. Because even if I'm up there for a second, the zombies could just start throwing like flesh at me. And we don't want that. What is this? A nuke? I kind of want to hit it just to get through another round fast, but... These rounds are still manageable. Oh, well, I guess either way the round ended. Let's hit it. We didn't leave a zombie for this round, so we have to do it next round. We go get stamina up. A mimic spawn there. So there will be a mimic this round. Yeah, he's right over there. I kind of want to go spawn him. But I don't want him to grab me by going too close to it. Sometimes that happens. So if he spawns, he spawns. Let me just make sure there's not an ass load of zombies around to get me. Okay, barely looped through. Did not get hit. Put my back against this wall so they go through that bush. That'll slow him down a bit. Okay, go ahead and spawn. Perfect. Let's try to lead him through one. Got him. Okay, the round ended. We got to be quick. This is going to be risky. Okay, I would jump down, but I don't want to risk the damage. So we're going to take the extra second to go through here. This is uh, probably more risky than taking damage the other way. The zombie could just reach out and hit us. Okay, yeah, I'm frightened right now okay we got stamina up we need to get the fuck out of here okay perfect we got it we could have brought another perk but right now stamina up is the most important okay i think we're chilling we should be good to just train here also we didn't pick up this armor last time apparently i thought i did max ammo perfect timing Lots of zombies now. I probably should have put the growth down more towards the tail of the helicopter. Since it's a shorter area, I, I can make sure that I hold off a choke point here. But I think this is fine. This is insane. Okay, we're halfway there. I'm almost positive we've taken no damage. So we're, we're doing well so far. Definitely need to save one after this round. I feel like I said that after every round. But for sure, after this one, we need to save one. 
maybe get dead shot. That'll help with us uh, not getting hit. We'll be doing more damage. But with stamina up, even with uh, like fall damage, how it like it lessens the amount of damage you take, it can still give ghost damage, which does count for the Dark Ops challenge. So I don't want to take any fall damage whatsoever. I don't want to go from any kind of high up place. But this stamina up is helping, up, helping out a lot. I really do need a, a toxic growth pretty soon here. That'll help so much with this mimic. Okay, hopefully that does enough. I'm COD reloading so much. It's funny, last time I said I, I need to stop COD reloading, like it's probably important to not do it. I, I literally do it after ever I shoot every time. It is such a bad habit. At least in zombies, if you have elemental pop, it makes it a little better because reloading actually like cherries and it, it adds the, the elemental effect if you have it leveled up. But I don't even have it, so I don't, I don't have that excuse. Okay, there's only a few left here. Really need to make sure to save one. So you're not living. You're not living. He's not living. Okay, let's loop back around. See if there's any pickups. We can get a tomahawk. It's not going to do any damage to us. All right, I think we're all set. We're also at 126. We're getting close to our to the amount of crits that we need. So if we have not been hit by time we get this thing gold, we'll, we're going to keep going. But if we do get hit and we already have it gold, I think I will exfil. So these will probably help. Elemental will probably help too. And then I can upgrade my gun once here. I probably could have upgraded it twice, but I actually got armor level two before that so kind of kind of a cringe moment back up to helipad i think pretty soon we're gonna start getting robo cops here and i really need to watch out for them and take them out as soon as possible so i don't get shot because i know if you shoot their gun you can stun them and stop the shot but if i see it too late i need to at least be able to avoid it okay i'm putting it right here that seems like a prime location oh my god i almost got hit there okay looping through don't hit me don't fucking hit me don't do it oh okay we made it through that was a very stupid move I just did. Somehow made it out. Shatter Blast might be a problem if they're too close to me. Like if we if we proc a Shatter Blast from Mother Elemental and it does damage to me, I'm gonna be so mad. That's just like the RNG gods telling me I'm not meant to do this. Okay, it's starting to get a little hairy here. I think we might need to go to Kernels. But also, if something comes through that window and I'm not fast enough to stop it, that could be lights out. No, that's lights out. Fuck. Oh, it's around 12 before I, I, I was literally, I said lights out as we got fucking hit. What a shame. All right. I guess our, our only option here is gold now. Maybe we can get dark aether, but we didn't make it to 12. I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, I guess I'll continue on. Like I did not get hit just to practice just so I can find a strat for this map. I feel like my strat was working pretty well there until I like turned my brain off. Okay. I need that ammo that he just dropped. Let's do this. Got it. Very risky play, but we got it. You know how clutch it would be to be doing this and you get brain rot and you brain rot like a, a mangler or a mimic? I think we just feast. Okay, I, I always forget about these assault waves when I do this. We should be able to knock it out pretty easily. All right, let's wait to see what portal they come through. I can put a uh, toxic growth in front of them and then we can just light up the rest. So it's, it's going to be one of two here. Okay, we might not actually have time to put uh, a toxic growth there. We can kind of just shred them. But just in case, we know they're going to be coming here. We'll put that down. I don't want to buy ammo knowing that we get a max ammo after this round. Let's do that. I don't know how I picked this up, but I'm throwing it. Don't want to buy ammo. Still got to take them out. I'll knife them. Oh, we made it. Still didn't take a hit there. We've only taken one hit this game. We're getting better. I guess we can try kernels and see how well it'll do. So all we really got to do is put a toxic growth here. That'll stop mimics and manglers, at least for a second while they come in. And we kind of just got to focus the main door. I would grab that nuke, but we actually don't need it. Uh, we already lost the challenge. So I'm going to get all these crits while I can. But if the challenge was still alive, I would grab that nuke right now. We get an insta-kill instead. Insta-kill with these bushes is cracked. And then we'll put one here just as a safety measure. We'll conserve a little ammo. Just do a little tap. There's like one zombie left. It seems like every time I stay at Colonel's office, there's always one straggler zombie that, that takes like forever to get to me. Around 15, a little kiss for good luck. And we're about 20 crits away from possibly getting Dark Aether, if we're lucky. Oh, there it is, SMG Diamond. It wasn't even 20. We got Gold Viper, Dark Aether maybe. Not looking like it. I think you might have to go the the whole nine yards. We'll have to get every single class done 
which I'm uh, I'm okay with. It is fair, but you know, there there has been the the bug to get it early, so I was kind of hoping I'd get it. But I guess we're fine. Anyways, let's go exfil then. We made it to round what was it, 11 or 12 before we got hit, which was very stupid. Past that, we did not get hit. So I think we should be able to do this next time or have a better chance at doing it. We definitely could have pack a punch again. We can probably just upgrade our gun on our way out. Okay. Now let's just try to do a clean exfil here. We have no field upgrade, no score streaks, no tacticals, no lethals. Just us and our MP5. And we got hit again there. So basically, only hit twice. Unless one of these last two zombies hit me. And it's looking like a no. So only hit twice. Not bad. Getting out with gold. Don't have Dark Aether. Maybe it'll show it on the main screen. I mean, I'm still holding out a little hope here. I doubt it. Okay, it looks like just the diamond, just the gold. No Dark Aether. Unless, let's see if it'll let us equip it. Nope. But we are 7 out of 9 now. No more 6 out of 9. R rip the funny number. But here's what it looks like in Gold Viper. Pretty disgusting. As in gross. As in awful. Plague Diamond decent uh way better than than whatever the hell this is and i just can't wait till we get this this kind of looks like a gummy almost you guys get that feel from this how shiny it is it looks like a gummy bear but we're all done with smgs our ars we need three more and our tack rifles we need three more so six guns left for dark aether either an ar or a tack rifle so if you guys want to leave your suggestions please leave ARs or TAC rifles to do. I won't do anything else. I, I just want to get through to Dark Aether as fast as possible. But anyways, if you like this and you want to see more, leave a like on it. Uh, if you didn't, you don't. Dislike. And if you're new here, please consider hitting that sub button. We put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And yeah, that's, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.